Hello everyone, welcome to Sweet Bay Laurel Emporium. Uh, it's Laurel and I'm in Canada. And hopefully that you will like and share and comment on this video. Help me grow my channel. Um, would be so much appreciated. Um, I am here today to do Roxy's weekly challenge. I'm not sure what week it was. I think it was two weeks ago maybe. Um... But it's the um, document holder, I think she called it. So I'm going to attempt to make two of them. I have gotten, I got some pages ready and um, some other items. Um, as I've said in my other videos, I am going to be using my um, vintage ledger uh, accounting books from that one company. And they are about 19, oh gosh, anywhere 1930, 40, 50, right into the 60s. The one page I'm going to be using today is dated July 1952. Um, I have intended this one to be the outside, the, the pamphlet part. So I had to back it. There is writing on this back of this sheet, but I backed it onto a similar one. It's blank because it wasn't thick enough and it's vintage paper. So um, the other one that I was going to use, this one, is I backed it also on a piece of paper. It's way too fragile though. So I'll use that for something else. So I decided I would use um, an Atlas page um which uh, hopefully it's hopefully it will work i thought it'd be kind of funny if you had like a travel journal or something to put it in anyways i'm going to be using brad's um like like this if i can what did i do with it i have misplace them they were right here as well I am going to if I can find that um, I did ink this one um, well you think you're prepared then you start filming and you're not I am looking for this I watched uh, Seven Seven Plaza, which are all the time, um, Margaret from the Never Netherlands. I'm going to use this whole reinforcer punch. Um, she made some with that, and I thought they were awesome. I'm going to only use two of these if I can find. If I can find them. <laughs> Great start to the video. Just a second. Honestly, they were right here. Okay. Um, well, it was not interesting. Okay. So, anyways, we will fold these. We're going to do it like Ma uh, Margaret did. And I'm only going to fold the one piece, which is the top. Which I think should be this one. Um, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to fold this one. I think I'm going to use my, um, how do you call it thing? Scoreboard. Um, I usually do it in about 40 minutes. I don't have a timer set. I do have my phone where I can see it for four minutes already in. I'm going to just score it right here. That's about an inch, I guess. And if any of this paper rips, I'm going to use this um, washi tape. I really need to find my 
Oh, I know where they are. Right here. I have a box of bread. I found them. Now, I did that on the bottom part. I will do that. This page isn't straight. Okay, and I have already um, mostly chose some, some pages. So I've got two. I'm not gonna worry about if they are, if they stick out any which way, um, because I think that will add to the um, awesomeness of it. I want to find Um, just that piece of brown paper. To punch my whole reinforcements up. Like, I don't know, this is sort of, sort of brown. Close enough. So, I do have one I have two, um, two from my Shakespeare book. I have two of these pages. These are from the that um, ledger. Look, I believe this is um, what do you call those pens? You know, where you dip in the ink. This is February first. I thought this had a date on it. Didn't. January like this it doesn't have a year but this is 1930 or something anyways I'm just going to make two piles to start I don't have any room on my desk I need to get another and I'm going to straighten out some of those edges I also am um, going to use these in here these actually have <laughs> um, which I thought would be fun I have a page out of a rose book, a page each out of a bird book, and a page each out of a music book. I need to find one more atlas page. Do I want another atlas page for her? No, because I'm going to use the atlas. I'm going to use a dictionary page instead of the atlas page in the one book. Which is this one. So... This one will be this one. So let's do this one first. I did not do one of these beforehand. Maybe I should have. I am I am inking and I'm using tie I always keep calling it tie dye. It's not tie dye, it's tea dye. And I prefer the ink over the, the oxide. Okay then. I'm not gonna ink all the pages. Um, You know, this is going to be, I like this edge. I'm not going to shorten it, but I am going to rip some off of this side. 
I know I said I was probably going to leave them the way they were, but you know what? I can change my mind. First of all, let's take out the ones that are fine. These two are fine. This one, I'm going to straighten out the edge. I don't know how many pages I got. Six, maybe? I don't think either Roxy or Margaret used that many, but... That's okay. That works. The bird one needs to be also... Straighten out on the one end. On the edge, not end. And I'm going to make this side a little rough. That works. Uh, the Shakespeare page. I'm going to leave exactly as it is because it actually fits pretty good. This one I'm going to do. as well. Okay, now let's put these pages together. And I know that Roxy um, folded up some of the ones on the bottom, which is which is fine. Because I'm not going to cut that off. There's nothing written on it, but that's okay. It overhangs a little bit, but I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. And, sorry about reaching. I need a couple of big paper clips. And... Paper clips. I need to get what kind of a brad I'm going to use. I've got these, which are actually authentic ones, which which I think I will use. But I'm only going to use two of them. Yeah. over there in its hiding spot. These are all the same. Yeah. Okay, and I need a whole bunch. And I need to punch four of these. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, it did. The one thing I don't like about this it's from We Are Memory Keepers is you can't tell where it is, so where it's punching. Oh, well. 
need one more. To measure anything, I'm going to use the big. on here. I put a whole bunch, whole, those reinforcements on the other side. Yep. What did I do with them? So this go this way, I think. Um, yeah, I think this is right. If not, I can always put them the other way. Sorry. Okay. Now, this is my page. And you need a bone folder for this because this is. Okay, I gotta turn those around. So it's a good thing I did put um, reinforcers on both sides because I would have had it wrong otherwise. I didn't think about a closure for either one, so I'll probably just use string or something. Okay. This goes like that. Okay. made one. Yeah. Okay. I like I like
like those pages in there. I have to figure out a closure. Um, I'm gonna do is this one. Just gonna use twine, I think. Um, I didn't think about this when I put the brads on, but I'm going to go like this. Then I'm gonna go around a couple times. It's weird, but it's okay. I'll use string on the other one. So, actually, once you... Um, they're easy enough to make once you get your papers figured out. Yeah. Um, okay. So I need to make, I don't know if I want to use this page. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to put that in there and I'm going to use the music page because it's very strong. Yes, that's what I'm going to do because I can change my mind if I want to. That is right. And I'm going to use I'm going to make the edges on it like this. And because this is the outside, I am going to um, ink the edges on this one with tea dye.
I know I'm not going to worry about if the music paper is a little bit white. That doesn't bother me at all. Good enough. Now, I want this this way. Not that I have a problem with that birth of the blues part, it just wasn't what I had intended to be on the outside. Better. Okay, now... I do want to straighten this page out a little bit. That's that vintage um, dictionary page. That is authentic yellowing. Straighten this one out. I'm just straightening the pages out a little bit. And yes, I think I need the big side. I was just trying to think about if I needed the little, if I could use the little side. You know, I could. I'm going to try the little side. And then um, if that's going to be good enough, I can make it big. Four of these. Sorry about reaching across. This is uh, this brown brownish paper is um, pretty heavy card. When I open the drawer on my desk, it's kind of noisy because this desk is a metal, a metal um, desk, and it's it's extremely heavy, and it's from 
It's from, um, it's vintage as well. It's probably from the 1950s, a hardware store. So, not from the same one. Well, that was a lumber company. That's vintage paperwork is from. So. The desk. Oh, stuck to my shirt. <laughs> the desk was, I found, um, I had a retail store in uh, near town where I live. And um, when we moved in, um, this desk was in the snowbank in the back. And I asked around um, about it and nobody knew and nobody cared. So I took it home. Now, did I say we needed to go this way? I do believe. And so what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to fold these up. Just like the other one. Don't know what kind, cotton string, I guess. And I don't think I'm going to use the brads for this. Nope, all I'm going to do is go like this. Attempting to tie it in a bow. Okay. That to me looks fine. And um, so the videos that I saw people making these, they did decorate them a little bit. Um, the outside, so I am going to do that. I'm thinking while I'm doing this. my ticket box here. I think on the music one, I definitely want to do a ticket. Do I have kind of a music ticket? That's a train one. That's a coupon, I don't know. 
add this one. And the second one is vintage. Um, I want to do something brownish. I'm going to use this one. Uh, make sure that you check out my video on, and my phone is doing a little battery, um, my video on how I made these ticket books and stamp books. So I'm going to have to plug my phone in to the charger. Bear with me for a sec. Oh, sorry. Okay, now I have stamps and labels. And that paper, which I probably will use. I have a stamp that I want to use. Okay. Do I want one on each? Sure. Okay. And label. Just grabbed a handful. Let's do one at a time. This Fairbank scale. I don't know if that's just the name of it or where's my stamp? I'm just using these scissors. They say stamp on them. I have one that is the stamp and one is mini pinking and I use that for when I make tickets. I'm just inking this, just take that um, little bit of brown off or the white from cutting it.
Come on, Grove. Yeah, I know I had placed it up higher, but that's okay. I didn't realize it says a load of sand on there. And said sand one said. Oh. I don't know what that says. Load of. I don't know what that says. And that's a load of barley. <laughs> Interesting, I think that one is fine like that, this side. I want. to see what I want to put on here. This is weird. I am covering, I'm doing that on purpose. I am covering up those names. Well, 
sorry about that. I'm not gonna go around that second one. I'm just gonna go like this and then tie it. Good enough. This one. So Roxy always does about 40 minutes, this is 46. And that doesn't include, oh, I put that in the wrong spot. Oh, well, that doesn't include um, the time I spent um, finding papers and um, trying to find a cover for it. So just so you know. something on this side. Just looking at my labels here beside me. there. Do I want this one here? Sure. So I'm not sure when this video is going to go up. Um, I posted a video yesterday. 
Well, I started uploading a video yesterday and it still hasn't uploaded. It's only, it was only like 56% when I started this video. So it was, had been, I had intended on having that today. Apparently YouTube has other plans. And what I do with my string right there. I was thinking about putting a wax seal on them, but I didn't, obviously. And this one here, I just went like that. Okay, so there we go. I got two of them made. Is this one? And this music paper one, which I quite like. So that's it. That's Roxy Cray, uh, Roxy's weekly challenge. I'm not sure which week it was. Again, sorry. Um, maybe four, five, maybe six, six, maybe. Anyways, I'm not sure. I will put it in the description box. So um, there you go. So please uh, like share make a comment subscribe to my channel help me build it up uh, so greatly appreciate it if you would and thanks very much for watching and have a great day thanks bye